I'll just do a few recommendations, other things I saw this week to give you some things you might want to watch. Uh, a number one, the first newish movie that just dropped on Max is Problemista, A24 film from, I think, earlier this year, maybe late last year. Either way, it's directed by uh, Julio Torres and starring Julio Torres and written by Julio Torres. He plays Alejandro um, from El Salvador, but he's living in New York, trying to make his way. Uh, and then you have Elizabeth played by Tilda Swinton. That's really the two main people you want to know. Other than that, you have Riza in this in a small role, and you have Isabella Rossellini as a sometimes uh, narrator of this movie. Warning right out of the gate. If you're someone who hates the quirk, especially the Wes anderson e sort of quirk, this veers somewhat in that direction, and you may or may not even want to step foot in this world. I think, though, if you can get past that, this movie is a lot more charming and a lot more fun and a lot more heart on its sleeve than the average kind of Wes Anderson movie. It's not as built into its dollhouse the way Wes Anderson movies are. What is the basic concept of Problemista? Alejandro works. He, he's working to try to keep his visa and stay in America, in New York, uh, until he can make his dream come true, which is becoming a toy designer for Hasbro. Throughout the movie, you, you will hear a bunch of his toy design ideas. He's got a whole bunch of them. They're all weird and unusual and quirky and kind of postmodern hipstery sort of toy design ideas. But with that being said, I mean, that's what you should probably do in this day and age. Either way, that isn't really the main point of the story, although it gives a little flavor around the edges. He's working in a place called Freeze Corp. This is a place, you know, you've heard of those places that supposedly, you know, cryogenically freeze somebody uh, keep them on ice until they can be brought back alive and whatever illness or whatever they had going on with them <laughs> is solved and that they are able to live their life. That's that's where he works. Very quickly, he makes a mistake in the, the he's taking care of this one particular pod only. I don't know how this works. He's taking place. He's taking care of the pod for the character played by Riza. He was an artist and he accidentally, he being Alejandro, accidentally unplugs the, momentarily unplugs the pod, plugs it back in. And of course, that's a big no-no. Doesn't, it doesn't mess up the freeze necessarily, but it causes him to get fired. Uh, on his way out, he does have an encounter with the kind of the woman who had been uh, romantically involved with Riza, and that is Elizabeth, played by Tilda Swinton. And she is something. She is a lot. She is, I don't know, not quite say a Karen per se, if that's even a word we can use anymore. She's she's just like one of those oddball art lover slash, I don't know what you'd say, uh, a person, a lover of the arts who's also trying to kind of attach themselves to an artist who's kind of made that her personality, but she's also a micromanager and uh, just just a crazy, hard-to-handle, demanding person. Hilariously so, which is the whole point of this movie. And the basic setup is she kind of pulls Alejandro into her orbit as possibly an assistant, possibly since he's lost his sponsor for visa ship. She promises that she will help get him that if he helps her gather up all of the artworks that have been kind of dispersed throughout wherever from uh, Riz's character, if she if he can get all those artworks back and so they can do a show, which was always his dream, then she will go ahead and sponsor Alejandro. That's the basic concept of this movie. Doesn't really matter. It's just a reason for them to be together for quite a while and have a lot of things happen. The basic, I guess, drive of the story is the relationship, the oddball relationship between Tilda's character and Julio's character. And that is where either you will have a lot of fun, or if it drives you crazy, you will have a, not a lot of fun. I overall quite enjoyed it. I'm probably going to go four stars in this movie. Once again, I think your mileage will vary based on if the quirk level works for you. I kept trying to think of who to compare this to. I don't know. I just feels like this is a, I mean, obviously Julio did just about everything in this movie. And it's one of those things where A24 is really, I think, doing great work when they find somebody who maybe wouldn't get quite as much of a budget or be allowed to really just explore their vision and their voice, especially at such a young age and an unknown kind of status, 
And I think that's where A24 shines when they do that sort of thing. And this is just, this is, feels like something that could be the beginning of something pretty great. And hopefully we'll see more and more from this person. And I quite liked it. Four stars for me. You can check it out now without making a lot of effort. If you have Max, that's a great way to check this out. Um, I would advise if it sounds interesting to you, dip in. Probably if you're 20 or 30 minutes in and you're enjoying it, um, you're going to probably enjoy it all the way through. And I think we can all agree Tilda Swinton is a international treasure. Hopefully she keeps doing things for many, many, many more years.